this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. Tonight I'm going to be painting a flower for you on black cardstock. And uh, this is just a another design that I eventually will be transferring over to painted glass. I will be using three-quarter inch one-stroke flat brushes for this. And also a 12, number 12 flat brush, also one-stroke brush. And then a number one round brush, which you can use any brand. I'm sure Folk Art Enamels has a variety to choose from. Um, anyways, this is just one that I happened to pick up at the store a while back. I am using Peridot, which is the multi, uh, multi-surface paint from Folk Art Enamels, or Folk Art, excuse me. And then I'm going to be using Thicket, which is a Folk Art Enamel. Wicker White, which also is a Folk Art Enamel, and then this one is Violet, oh I'm sorry, per Perfect Purple is what it is, Perfect Purple. Alright, now we're going to start, and again this is going to be on black cardstock. This is a design that I will do a, a similar design for you. Again, if you're painting for people and selling it, make sure they understand, unless you're actually selling the, the item that is shown in your pictures, that no two will be alike. It'll be similar. And I'm going to double load my brush, my one stroke flat brush, the three quarter brush with the wicker white and the perfect purple. Keep mixing up the sides. Hold on for a second. Somehow or another, I got a touch of green in there, and I don't want that. All right, so let's start this again. I think I got green in it again. Oh well. You'll get the gist. And again, I'm sorry that I'm not not posting on a regular basis. I really do try, but I just have so much going on right now due to my parents' death and trying to liquidate their home and all the items in their home. I've really been busy with that. Plus, I do to, uh, babysit my grandchildren. All right, so this is just basically... I guess the closest thing I would call it would be kind of a shell type of a stroke. I'm just placing it down and wiggling it back and forth. And then this one's going to be a bigger, much bigger flower. Or not flower, but a flower petal, I should say. And I'm just going to do basically a partial, um, not like a full open, a full open flower, just a partial. And I'm just going to kind of tilt it up like that. Now, keep in mind, too, that I am a lefty, so that means that what you're seeing me do will actually be created in a different direction than if you're a right-handed person. You may need to start from the opposite side. It takes some getting used to, and I know it may sound awkward, but unfortunately it's something that if you're an opposite hand, of somebody that's teaching you, you're just going to have to learn to make the adjustment. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and slide this in and turn the brush. And one thing nice about this is I can turn my paper, which is good. This is the part I have a little bit of difficult time with um, because I have a tendency to have a hard time connecting right there at the end of that. Paddle. So 
especially when you, you do kind of like this and then go up and then turn your brush around and then end like that. I kind of got a little spot down there I need to fix. Now, for some reason, that's probably about the best I'm going to do with it. Let's see if I can fix it like this. Okay. So, then I'm going to just do a little bud. Again, this is just going to be a literally simple, just a very easy, as you saw, demonstration as far as not too involved. You can just kind of roll your brush a little bit and come up here and you can just do like that. Just kind of a wiggly, 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 wiggly flower. I'm just going to go like this. And then come back here. Pick up on it and just pull it out this direction. And it's just a bud. You know, just a simple little bud. Now for the center, you can do... I did the combination of the peridot and the, th the thicket. You may not see the peridot on here too much, but it is on there. And I'm just going to pounce it in. Now you can actually add lines, but this is going to be just a simple version. There's different versions of this kind of style of flower. But you're just pretending that you can see it, but maybe not the whole thing. As I said, if you had an open flower, You'd be able to obviously see the whole center. And this is just leaving something to the imagination. Just kind of dotting it in here with the round brush. This is the number one round brush. And then I'm just going to take some yellow and add that in too. Just kind of mush it together here. I said, I think it's just a simple little pretty flower. If you wanted to do lines, you know, in the actual petals of the flower, you could do that too. I'm not, you know, for the purpose of that, but I think you, you know, if you chose to do that, you could. Now I'm going to do just a little bit up in here, and I like to do that on some of these just to give it some interest. I feel like if you just leave it plain, it doesn't really have as much interest unless you, as if you were to put, you know, like you could see the center here a little bit in the bud even. And that choice is yours. You know, if you choose to leave it out, that's fine. If you want to add it, that's fine. I'm just going to stop, stop there. I'm going to move on to my three-quarter brush. Again, I love the one-stroke brushes. You can use a different, whatever you feel comfortable with, or whatever you have access to. Sometimes that's a matter of, of choice, too, is what you actually have access to where you live. Um, or if you don't, you know, if you want to order online, you can do that, too. I'm going to go ahead and put my little little um, stems in. So sorry about that. Just kind of gave me a little brain fright there. Forgot what I was, what they were. And I should have put this part in first. This is kind of going to be what it attaches to the flower. All right. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come up here, and I could switch to a smaller brush, or I can use this brush. I'm going to just put some little, thin little leaves on the bud. And I could lead with my darker green, or the brighter green, whichever way. I'm just going to do it like this, put a couple up in here, and that's good. I'm going to go back to the bigger flower, 
and do basically the same thing. That's why I wasn't too concerned. I guess I got some white here. Too concerned about the bottom of this flower because I knew I was going to cover it up. And then just come up in here into the flower itself. I want to go over that a little bit more too. But again, keep in mind if you are trying to do what I'm doing, you're going to have to reverse it and do it do it the direction that fits you best. All right, so then I'm going to come back here, double load my smaller brush, and then just put some easy little buds into the flower right here. I think that's pretty. I just love this Peridot. Love the um, love the sheen to it. All right, and then I'm going to just to add some more interest. Add some filler flowers up here. And again, this is not something you have to add. You can leave it very simple if you want it to be simple. But I'm just going to do your basic little strokes, you know, like touch and pull, touch and pull. And I'm hoping that these are easy enough that that most people can do them and feel success with it. I'm not trying to make it something so difficult that it's not easy to follow. And that I can do quickly because I don't like long videos. just like I said nice little fillers you can go back in if you feel like you need to have some more color to it or kind of tap in beside it whatever you feel like you need to, to add just take a step back take a look at it and see hey maybe I need to add this I'm going to go back to my bigger brush and the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to do some larger little petals Flower, um, oh my gosh, sorry. What is wrong with me? Some um, leaves down the stem here. And basically, they're just a little wiggle. And I'm keeping the brush and the colors going the same direction each time instead of reversing it. On this, I am just going to do two petals on one side. I did three before, but on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and do two, and then one over here. Eh, I might do another one. Very easy, though. You just kind of, you can go back in here, too, if you feel the need that you need to straighten up that vine a little bit, or up here, go back through it. Um, that's fine to do. I like odd numbers, so I think I might add just another smaller version of this petal to it. And I don't even feel the need to try to put like a little veining in it. So that's something too you can do if you if you choose to do so. But that's it. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. And I have to say, I have to admit that I did drop my camera, so I'm hoping that this video is actually videoing properly because I as a klutz when taking it off the stand I dropped it and it flew across the floor so we'll see when I go to actually edit the video <laughs> we'll see what happens I'm not the uh, best when it comes to holding on to things or tripping and all that good stuff I'm a klutz so here you go um, if you like my videos, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear any comments down in the comment section below. Hit the bell so you get my um, notifications when I do list a new video. I will be working on adding this to Painted Glass this week and getting a new video out for that. Any questions, comments, again, I'd love to hear from you. Please share my videos. 
and thanks again for stopping by. Until the next video, have a good evening.